Hello DS106, my name is Julia Forsyth and I am so happy to be here. I am at Julia Forsyth on Twitter and gforsyth.ca is my website. And this is what I look like in color in my office. So I'm sorry I'm not doing this live uh, or in person in Fredericksburg, but this is the next best thing and I'm really excited that Jim invited me to be a part of your class tonight. Now I've already made a movie about how DS106 has changed my life and so you can go visit that some other time. Right now we're going to get a little bit meta and talk about what I'm actually doing here with these uh, little visual representation of my ideas. I've always been a doodler my entire life. It's been something I've done in the margins, drawing things, representing the ideas. Uh, I did it in class all the way through grade school right up into uh, university. And it wasn't just until the last year through DS106 and, and people in my Twitter network that I found out that there's a thing called visual notes or sketch noting and it's uh, it's not just illustrating but it's going beyond that and just graphically representing ideas um, as a way of conveying information so the things that you see make sense of it in your mind and then represent it in some way that makes sense to you and I've had a lot of aha moments myself and it makes me extremely happy it's a really fun activity I have a lot of different sources of inspiration. Most recently I used a piece of text specifically uh, from Timothy Gower's blog, who is a mathematician who is boycotting a publisher named Elsevier. I felt he had a lot of really lucid points and the only thing I could really do was, was draw it out to make some sense of it for myself and perhaps to help other people make more sense of it. The first thing I did was I took their logo and I subverted the uh, I changed the vines and the grapes into chains and locks because of the way that they were locking out public access. I really tried to use uh, images to represent some of the basic ideas to simplify the issue and hopefully help improve the situation. It's been a bit of a surprise to me. I have almost 2,000 hits on my Flickr account for this one picture. This particular issue wasn't actually new to me. I had uh, listened to DS106 radio to the Open Ed Conference and heard Brian Lamb talk about the very same issue. So a lot of my inspiration also comes from listening. The keynote of that very same conference was none other than Jim Broom. I also listened uh, over the radio, over DS106 radio to that, and did this uh, sketch note of uh, the Thousand Idea Babies of Jim Groom. Sometimes I'm in the same room as the people talking, like in this example. Everybody had, there was a talking stick and people took turns speaking. And I just converted things when they say things about emotional nourishment, I would put that in a heart. Or if they said they felt like they belong, I put like glue. I have some uh, frequently used images that, uh, that just make sense to me. I use like the, the, the Google map thing for goals. We use people sitting in a circle for connections, or power, recharging as a battery. Um, basically, I, I try and think in metaphors or, or just symbolically. Or it could be quite literal if you're talking about home or, or a mouse click. You just draw something that makes sense. Uh, as I showed you before, the heart is like an emotion. Um, and just some happy faces to, to show how people feel. Um, there's uh, a lot of different symbols that could make sense to you or not. Uh, I really, I'm a fan of the lock, especially unlocking things. Like unlocking the potential of your mind, uh, all the things and the connections that you haven't actually made explicit. I was asked to do an essay once and I did mine in the form of uh, what I called a doodle, which was a graphic representation. And I referenced Temple Grandin and she says, the world needs all kinds of minds and I totally agree. Um, she has a book called Thinking in Pictures, and she has done some very creative problem solving uh, with some very difficult issues uh, through sketching them out. I also think that uh, doodling is a form of external thought, and it shares your uh, thinking pattern with other people, so it helps make a lot of connection that way. Last week you learned about Stephen Johnson and the adjacent possible. Well, he also talks about how daydreaming leads to serendipitous collisions, and I feel that uh, drawing is like a form of daydreaming. It just sort of um, allows you to let go and sort of enter into a different uh, state of mind. 
I could probably ramble all day about all the awesome things, but let's get to a little bit of mechanics, um, a little bit of the layout issues, um, just sort of keeping in mind using, uh, making a good use of the space and keeping a flow. Um, here's a good example of me not making good use of space where I'm going to write lettering in large block letters and I'll get to let it. Oh, ran out of space. A uh, good strategy that I've seen is to do your initial lettering, either in capitals or lowercase, and then go over it and make it darker. And you could use multiple lines to thicken it. And you can actually um, then outline the multiple lines to make it like a block letter. And that way, if you um, run out of space, you can sort of self-correct easier than like I did at the top. Some people are afraid of, of printing and writing and, um, and drawing, uh, but really there's just some very, very basic shapes. You just need to know how to do circles and triangles and rectangles, and, base, and those uh, make up the components of little star people, of arrows. So a simple triangle can be used to do all sorts of things. Um, the rectangle I use to make books all the time to represent uh, all sorts of things, whether it's an open book or a concept or a piece of text. Let's face it, nobody wants to watch more than a seven minute movie. So I'm going to leave that there and wrap it up. Thank you so much for having me today and I can't wait to see all of you online and your drawing. And uh, the real star of the show is me. I am uh, Handula. I am the one who does all of the drawing. So don't listen to Julia. All she does is is talk and talk and talk. She's got this big mouth. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to Bagman and to Halligator. They are my favorite. You guys are superstars. You inspire me so much. I, ca I came out of the uh, the drawer just to, just for today.